Hey, how's it going, YouTube? We Sam back again, and today what I have for you is an online versus gameplay. Um, I'm playing as the Leafs here. I haven't played as the Leafs in a while, so I decided to put one of these up that has me playing as the Leafs. Uh, pretty high scoring game, but that's about it for the gameplay. I don't want to talk about that today. I want to talk about a few things that have been going on around the NHL lately. So, the first thing I want to talk about is the Ottawa Senators, and I mean, what can you say about them? They are just doing amazing right now. Uh, they're two points out of first place. Um, they're on a seven game winning streak right now. I mean, they are just lighting it up in the NHL. So, uh, I actually thought they were going to finish near the bottom of the Eastern Conference this year at the beginning of the season. Seeing as they got off to such a slow start, but it seemed almost after they fired Corey Clouston that things started to pick up for them. I mean, they picked up uh, Kyle Turris, which is pretty good on their part. So, that helped out their lineup. I mean, uh, added some depth to it. I mean, Alfredson's getting old, so they need someone to replace him. That's just my opinion on why they picked him up. But uh, that was a pretty good pickup on their part. Um, I have mixed feelings about the Sens doing good, seeing as I'm a Leafs fan. And um, I don't really like to see my rival team doing that good. But in a way, I'm kind of glad that they're doing good because I'm a fan of Canadian teams. At the same time, I'm a fan of the NHL, so I like to see teams doing good that usually don't do good. There's, I think they still are somewhat in the rebuilding stage, but I think they are almost completely, well, I don't want to say completely, but they are almost rebuilt, which is a good thing for Suns fans. Um, but, uh, you know, good job, Ottawa. Um, you're going to be in the playoffs this year. So you don't ha I'm pretty much sure you're going to be in the playoffs. So you don't have to worry about making it this year, I would say. Uh, you're going to... They're going to have a strong showing in the playoffs, which is a great thing for uh, the Sens out there, working hard this year. Uh, maybe that All-Star game this year gave them a little boost to step it up a little. Not quite sure. But anyways, um, another thing I want to talk about is the Taylor Hall incident. So, if you're not sure what I'm talking about, I'll give you a quick little rundown about what happened the other night. Um, so the other night in pregame warm-up at the Oilers game, uh, Taylor Hall collided with a couple of his teammates, so um, Taylor Hall collided with one of his teammates there on the ground, and Taylor Hall, of course, not wearing a helmet, uh, had another one of his teammates try to avoid the wreck of the two players on the ground, or on the ice. Uh, one of his teammates tried to step over him, and uh, stepped on his face by mistake, which is pretty rough. I mean, that could have possibly even killed him if uh, the skate blade got him in the jugular. Pretty rough stuff, though. I mean, uh, if you see if you've seen the picture of him yet, I mean, if you haven't seen it, uh, go to the Edmonton Oilers website. They have an interview with him after the incident too. So go to the Edmonton Oilers website. Just look at how gruesome it is. I mean, uh, apparently he needed 30 stitches to get that cut uh, filled up. I mean, that's pretty that's pretty rough. And uh, he also said that he tried to run on the or not run on take just ride the bike and um, apparently it started bleeding again so uh, I don't see him being back for uh, tomorrow night's game against the Flames which uh, it's gonna be a good game by the way Battle of Alberta always exciting to watch that but he won't be back tomorrow night I know that for a fact um, I mean he's a tough guy and everything but I don't see him being back for Saturday just because of how serious this injury is I mean if you've seen his eye too that's just it's pretty rough. It's almost closed. That's how bad it is. But that, this also raised the idea of the NHL making it mandatory to wear helmets during the pregame warm-up. Um, I know the New York Rangers are already doing this. So uh, it's just another way for the NHL to make it safer for their players. I mean, there's so many injuries going on right now, especially with in with heads, like headshots, head injuries in general. So uh, it's good to see that they're trying to protect their players, I guess. But hopefully they do pass this. I mean, junior A players have to do it. So that's going to do it for me in this gameplay commentary. I hope you enjoyed this. If you want to weigh on, in on any of the uh, topics I talked about in this commentary, just let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And peace.